It's a wedding day. It's a wedding day. It's a wedding day. Between Nigeria and South Africa. It's a wedding day. It's a wedding day. It's a wedding day. Between Nigeria and South Africa. Come on. I do, I do. I do, I do. I do, I do. Oh, I do, I do. Gege. I do, I do. I do, I do. I do, I do. I do. Oh, damn. Welcome, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Wednesday is too far. I cannot wait for this marriage to happen. Now, <clears throat> this footballing marriage, which is about to take place, is a marriage that is going to determine so many things. Mm. And when I mean, when I'm talking about determining so many things, I want to ask this big question. Uh -huh. In this marriage, who do you think is going to submit to who? <laughs> mm. Who do you think is going to submit to who? Because it's all about submission. My brother, this submission will be after the party. Really? Yes. Really? After party, we will not know who we submit to each other. Okay. One more important thing. Okay. You know that in this style of footballing marriage, for it to work is a marriage that for one to be submissive to the other, it's all about tactical power. Mm. It's all about tactical finesse. Mm. And on one part of the, 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 other, the, the, the people who are getting married, on one part, we have a coach in charge of the other one part, and we have a coach in charge of the other part. Mm. Now, between these two coaches, they all have different tactics. Mm. And the better tactics will carry the day. And whoever wins or whoever carries the day, the other will be submissive to the winner. And it's based on tactics. So now, judging from the two coaches, who will be spearheading these marriages? Mm. Which of these coaches do you think will have the upper hand in this great wedding or marriage that is about to take place? <laughs> question, jump question, jump question, jump question. Damn. <laughs> Woo. Ah, well, let me go by the details. Let me go by the intels. And mm. the intel there is between Hugo Bruce and Pesero. Mm. These are two coaches that over someone's back, both nations have been critical about these coaches. I was in New York some months back before the Nations Cup when Nigeria played their um, World Cup qualifiers match. Mm. And Nigeria drew against lowly rated Lesotho. And just like what you saw when the Ghana, the Ghana press team were bashing their coach during the Afghan game that Ghana lost. That was exactly what happened, or even worse than what happened in New York. Mm. What happened? A journalist from Aba asked the coach, do you deserve this job? Mm. Don't you think it is time for you to quit? Omo, I shocked. I was like, oh, so journalists can be this angry. <laughs> <laughs> and Nations Cup started. Mm. First game happened. I said, okay, 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 okay. Then what happened? Pesero rearranged the team. Pesero came with a new, in fact, mind you, he was trying different kind of Tactics. He played 4 4 3 3, 4 2 2, 4, 4 2 4. But then he came back. What happened? He changed the tactics. He said that, see, with the look of things, we just have to block our backside. Let there be no more leakages. Let it be that we are strongly, struggling to score goals. Or first, you see this back? Let's lock it up. 
reason why Nigeria up to now has only considered one goal in this tournament. <sighs> I'm coming back to him. Then from Hugo Bruce, the first game of the Afghan did not go well. Mm. People laughed. Africans laughed at him, laughed at the national team. That's the Bafana Bafana. We came here, we did our own analysis and said, this team have what it takes, but then they've been running around up and down. I made mention of the South, South Korea team, the Japanese team. These are teams that they can run too, just like South Africa that are so mobile. Nobody can take that away from the, the South African team. They are so mobile. But then, the goals did not come by. But what did this man do? He made evidence, the Orlando Pirates man, to be holding the ball up there. And not, it is now no more football of when we are moving, just move. No. You wait for people to come back. So he was holding the ball. Anytime the ball comes, when they are going for that counter, evidence holds the ball a bit for people to come and help him out. Not now running. Like we mentioned, one person you hold one, but you just be running. Running on your own. <laughs> Before you know, they will collect the ball, you just shoot at the ball. But then, the game plan changed. Mm. South Africa became a new team. Mm. The Bafana Bafana. And what happened? When they made that first correction, my brother, in the history of 2023 AFCON, no team has scored 4-0. No team has had that highest margin. None. It is Bafana Bafana. Mm. And that is why I am scared for Nigeria. I'm scared for the Super Eagles. Mm -hmm. It is the same team that when they met Morocco. Morocco, we know Morocco plays good football. But then, they had to absorb them. Mm. And at the end of the day, they scored two goals. Morocco, number one in Africa. And you say this will be an easy game for Nigeria. Who is saying that? Now, head to head for these two coaches. Pesero, yes, marvelous CV. You cannot compare Pesero's CV to, to Bros, to Hugo Bros. No, you can't. The experience is massive. An experience you can't buy it from the, from the market. No, you cannot. This guy has grown. 66 years old against 71 years old Bros. But then, if you check his CV, someone that was assistant coach in, in yeah. Real Madrid, coach Braga, former Porto coach, coach the Saudi Arabia, coach Qatar, coach the club in, uh, in uh, Sharjah, in, uh, in UAE. What else are you expecting? But for Bruce, I'm coming back. For Bruce, he joined um, an Algerian side in 2015. So he's been in Africa. He's been, although he had a short spell in, in Belgium, uh, maybe two months, then came back to Africa. But then there's something unique about him that you will see as a big side of him that nobody right now in this, in this uh, last four has it. Mm. And what is that? That in 2017, he won the Nations Cup for Cameroon. Yeah, yeah, true. true. So what other bra bragging right do you want? True. Somebody that has... You see the two, the two um, uh, sides now. Pesero, not fully grounded in Africa. Bruce, an African through and through. South Africa, he knows it in and out. He follows the league. Not um, our own coach, as in the Nigerian coach, who does not come to the stadium to watch, watch the games. Well, the Nigerian league is in Kamatos, man. But, but that aside, you need to. You need to. Because... You cannot share. It is not just about the abroad people. It's not about the um, just only about the abroad. We have a game star. You need to come home. You need to be here. Okay? But that aside again. Bruce has a compactable squad. Mm. Why do I say that? Because from the last game, Bruce had eight players from Sundowns. 
eight out of eleven, eight from sundown. And not just eight. If you add two on the eight, they play in Africa. Mm. In fact, nine play in South Africa because uh, evidence plays in uh, Orlando Pirates. Pow, Pow plays uh, plays in um, in uh, Alai of Egypt, making it ten African players in the South African team as at the last game. Just one person, um, uh, Sito, that plays in uh, Portugal, um, uh, Tokena in, in Portugal, second division club in Portugal. That's the only, will I say, out African player out there for them. But in Nigeria, yes, you have plenty stars out there. No two ways about that. Individual talent, no two ways about that. But when you now come to that compatibility, you see where you have eight players in one club. That that takes me back to back then in Nigeria when we had issues with uh, our national team when Good Lord Jonathan was president, that he had to disband the team. And people were like, go and bring a Yimba. Let the Yimba represent Nigeria. That is what is happening to Memelodi now. Memelodi, they are the ones representing South Africa, whether you like it or not. How can you have eight players? Eight players from one club. Eight players from one club. What else are you telling me? So, if you know that, Bruce has his arsenal, unwavering, unshaking, and they've been scoring goals. Mm. He has a very bright goalkeeper, who arguably right now, you say that he's the number one goalkeeper. Yes, four by four. That's what somebody in the conversation, we are coming back to you guys, said that he is now called four by four. <laughs> <laughs> four clean sheets. For um, penalty saves. Sure, sure, sure. But then, if you also come with respect to games that have these two managers have managed side by side, Pesero, 23 games, Bruce, 21 games for South Africa. But then, by winning ratio, Bruce comes number one. Pesero, out of the 23 games, 11 wins, 4 draws, 8 losses. No, 8 draws, 4 losses. Sorry, guys. 11 wins, 8 draws, 4 losses. Right? Why for Bruce? 10? 10, um, 10, um, 10 wins. Okay? 8 draws. And uh, three losses, yes, three losses. So if you check on paper, what else is the paper telling you? It's telling you that Bruce has what it takes to drive this team to the finals. So Nigerians, I beg thee, if that happens, you just have to take it as, as life. Life has happened, okay? But then, but then. What might also win this game might not just be the tactical prowess of these gaffers. Mm. It might just be who has the steel, who has the boldness, who wants this win more than the other. That might just be it. Okay? Because there are stages to this. The Nigerian team, unfortunately for South Africans, please, all respect, but then you know that these Nigerian players, they are bullies. They want to bully you. Name which countryside. Nigerians want to bully you. Nigerians want. Okay. When it is time to hold the ball, if you say, let's drag ball, you know that Nigeria will hold the ball. They will collect it from you and they will hold it and they will control the game. But then formations have changed. Tactics have changed. That the Nigeria side are now the ones telling you, come. We are waiting for you. Just come because they will, they will counter you. That's the much, my brother. When is the three days from here? But then, before you know it, it has come. So my prediction, mm. my humble prediction, no, <laughs> it is tough, tough. But then, I will go for my beloved country, mm. Nigeria. Because, please, if you go 
by the details. We have the most expensive squad. Yes, expensive squad does not, does not do V3 like Chelsea. <laughs> but then... What a straight bullet. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys, sorry. But then, you still have expensive squad like the Los Blancos, like Real Madrid. The wheel is there. I told you the last game was the game of the spirits. But this particular game is the game of pride. Thank mm. you, bro. Amazing. The game of pride. Game of pride. Wonderful. To those of you that are watching this right now, I believe you have been dazzled and bamboozled by what has been happening. Wow, dazzled and bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to go hard on you guys. Amazing. Just below your screen. Click on the subscribe button, activate the notification bell so that you can be up to date with this amazing content which we create here. It's really been awesome right here in the studio. We've been having fun, hitting it back to back. And to those of you that are already part of this great family, I don't know why I like referring to us as a family because that's what we are. Please keep liking, keep subscribing. And of course, we want to say thank you to you guys, most especially the South Africans. They have finally told us that they are greeting. And what's that? Yes, so. Siabonga, South Africa. One more time. Siabonga, South Africa. One more time. Siabonga. You guys have really been amazing. We appreciate you. The whoa, massive whoa, views whoa. on our last video has been really amazing, encouraging to us. We say thank you, Siabonga, South Africa. We are. So in fact, in fact, I'm taking it upon myself that very soon. I think we will still start speaking South African language here. Mm. Very soon. We, mm. need to go and, we need to go and do our mm. studies well. Mzanzi! Mzanzi! Alright. It's really been amazing. Alright, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting. And of course, don't forget our promo. 30,000 Naira for, do, for whoever is able to predict the winner of this African Cup of Nations. There's going to be a raffle draw we're going to pick and then let's see who and who will win this money. And uh, like I said, it doesn't matter which part of the country you are, whether you're outside the shores of Nigeria or wherever you are, the money equivalent of that 30,000 will be given to you. And this is being sponsored by TAV TV. So just below in your description uh, button, we have a link. Just click on the link and subscribe for you to be qualified to participate in this. And when you do that and you drop your predictions and it turns out to be so, of course, you're going to be the lucky winner. I don't know who you are, but I believe there's going to be a lucky winner out there. Thank you so much for what you guys have been doing for us. We appreciate you. We are very, very grateful. And I would not want to leave the studio without asking Mr. Victor what he has to say. His last words for you guys. Somebody did me as in blew my head like like a young girl that a sweet tongue man met a sweet tongue man that does not have money you know they thought it they, 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 before you know it the guy the girl don't fall in love but then what did this guy say he said that this our channel is giving him more entertainment than the iDisky channel or the iDisky tv show on super Sport. i say what amazing what <laughs> what an encouragement you guys are pushing us and pushing us to do greater things yeah. we can't thank you enough we can't thank you guys enough thank you and thank you so much the law from south africa nigeria kenya ghana it is unprecedented we never saw it coming Mm. Never saw it coming, my brother. So thank you guys. We cannot wait to come to South Africa. I cannot wait. June, I think June, uh, the fifth of June is when South Africans will come and play the World Cup qualifier. So we have a lot in common that is coming. Then by next in 2025, Nigeria will touch down in South Africa. Sure. My brother, man, it's only God should keep us alive. I will be in South Africa. Amazing. I don't know about you. <laughs> I will be in South Africa Joy! too. So why not? So we are waiting. Why would we're I getting, be there? They have promised us women. So my, why would... Oh my God. <laughs> See, South Africans, please come to Nigeria uh, 5th of June, thereabouts. Eh? Once you identify with us, guess what we are giving you? Very hot jello fries. <laughs> <laughs> very, very hot jello fries. That is what we are going to give you. So keep, come, come by. We will welcome you with arms open, open arms. wide. Exactly. Thank you so much, guys. We love you. We lo See, this channel has turned to love channel. Oh. Of course. The comment section, if you read, 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 love. Read, 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 love. Hey! <laughs> we love you guys. We love you guys. Chai. Thank you so much. I can't say, well, 
what's, what's have gone on? It has left me. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Big, for being part of the show. And let's uh, hope and let's pray that uh, God will help us. And, uh, of course, Nigeria will eventually emerge. <laughs> By prayer and fasting. This kind go not out, but by prayer. Oh, boy. It, it, it requires prayer <laughs> and fasting. By fasting. <laughs> <laughs> not by prayer. <laughs> oh, my God. Have yeah. a wonderful Thank night, you, rest. Bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Uh, Cheers. Yeah.